Good morning. It is Monday and we are just one week away. I can't believe in one week I will be doing the MRF. Um, not exactly feeling it, but it's a Monday, so that's usual. Day 10 of training. Let's get started. Still passable left. <laughs> yeah, sung it. Day 10 consisted of three rounds. The first round was four sets of four pull-ups, eight push-ups, and 12 squats. This was repeated for rounds two and three for a total of 48 pull-ups, 96 push-ups, and 144 squats. Day 11 consisted of two rounds. The first round was five sets of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 squats. Repeated for a second round for a total of 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, and 150 squats. Day 11 done, um, that was the hardest day. Those bigger sets were challenging. I'm a little bummed because I was hoping to do sets of five, 10, and 15 on Murph Day, but I know now that that's not gonna work out. I'm gonna end up needing too many breaks. So um, right now I'm thinking three, six, eight, and then a one, two, three at the end. I don't know, we'll see, but at least I got it done, so. Last day, coming up. Good morning, it is the last day of Murph training. I'm really excited, um, a little nervous that in a few days we'll be doing it, so let's get started. Day 12 consisted of one round of six sets of three pull-ups, six push-ups, and eight squats for a total of 18 pull-ups, 36 push-ups, and 48 squats. Now I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I'm messing with my watch quite a bit. I was trying to see if I could use the Garmin to track all the different sets on the day of the Murph. Um, that didn't work out too well, so I think I'm just gonna record the time it takes for me to do the run, the time it takes for me to do the entire Murph with breaks, and then the final run to get my totals. Done. Uh, my goal today was to just try to crank through them at um, a fairly consistent pace. Um, I wanted to see if the set grouping was something that I thought I could maintain for the entire MRF. Um, that felt good, but felt almost too easy, which is awesome. Um, but I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to break it up uh, come Monday to see what I can handle, but I also want to challenge myself. So I <sighs> can't wait. Only a couple days away. Good morning, it is Sunday, the end of week four for Murph training. I can't believe that tomorrow's the Murph. Um, this week was challenging, but it was good. Um, I think overall this training plan is really good for just about anybody. Um, it was small enough for a beginner who is not, you know, um, used to doing a bunch of pull-ups, push-ups, and squats to be able to take it into bite-sized chunks. Um, but at the same time, if you're somebody who's fairly fit, but obviously not fit enough to just crank out a hundred pull-ups, 200 push-ups and 300 squats, it was something that you could, uh, modify a little bit to be a little more challenging for you, but still get you prepared. 
I think 30 days is plenty of time if you're coming from not being able to do this at all to being able to at least finish it. Obviously, if this was something where you were choosing to want to train to do all 100 pull-ups in one shot with a weighted vest and all that kind of stuff, then this would not be enough time. But I think this was perfect for somebody like myself who just has the goal of finishing it. So um, let's get into the totals for the week and then I will let you know what my plan is for how I'm actually going to execute tomorrow. This week I did a total of 116 pull-ups, 232 push-ups, and 342 squats. It was nice to have completed more in the week than what I have to do tomorrow. Um, not that it was all in one shot, but it at least kind of gives your brain the idea that you can achieve those numbers. I struggled a bit with trying to figure out how I wanted to break this up for tomorrow. Um, originally, my, my hope was to be able to do five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 squats. But as I was doing those sets this week where there was three um, sets of five, so 15 total, um, I realized that towards the end of that, when I was getting to my fifth pull-up, I was struggling with doing that. So I, while I think I can complete it that way, I think I'm gonna end up with more rest breaks or longer rest breaks, and then it's just gonna make the whole thing take way longer than it needs to take. So my plan for tomorrow is to do four pull-ups eight push-ups and 12 squats. I'm gonna do five sets of those and then take a minute or two to rest and then continue on until I hit all 25 sets, which will bring my totals to the required 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups and 300 squats. So obviously sandwiched in between those two one mile runs, programmed into my Garmin to do a multi-sport where I will click start and it will time and um, track my run so i'll know when i've completed the one mile i'll hit the button come inside do my pull-ups push-ups and squats and then hit the button again and then go out and do the final one mile run and that way i'll be able to see my totals for everything um in between so yeah looking forward to tomorrow um excited a little bit nervous i feel like i can definitely do it it's just a matter of how long it's going to take and so yeah um leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow after the Murph. Bye.